What is up, YouTube? Today we're reacting to the 10 everyday things you need to stop doing. Let's go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be Charlie. looking at 10 everyday things you need to stop doing. So these are a few everyday things that I'm sure a lot of you guys do, but these are all things that you need to stop doing for very- that is disgusting. Various reasons. So guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply to all of you. So, coming in at number 10, we have using pressure washers. We're starting off with a very strange one. We all know that a pressure washer is a very strong piece of cleaning equipment that sprays water out at a high pressure to clean surfaces like walls or the ground. But, these kill hundreds of people every year. And the reason isn't because they're spraying themselves and getting hurt or anything, it's actually because most pressure washers are powered by carbon monoxide gas, which often leaks out if the pressure washer is a dud, or if it's from a bad brand. That's dangerous. To be honest, that's dangerous. And some people also die from carbon monoxide gas when they're refilling their canisters. Because with the excess gas, they get stuck in the washers. So next time you need to do some heavy duty cleaning, maybe stick to the old fashioned methods. But next up, we have not sleeping. Whether you're a student overdue with hope. I know students that don't sleep until like 2 a.m. in the morning. And that's really not good. I myself, I don't sleep that much. I mean, I sleep from five to seven hours per night from 10 to 5, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. That's like, I think normal because I don't like to sleep. I like to be active. And uh, some people are crazy. They sleep like two, three hours a night. You cannot do that to yourself. Work, work a demanding job or like to stay up all night watching YouTube videos. Lack of sleep is one of the most. I mean, I do look for videos to react to. But why would you do that? Why would you spend a whole night trying to find videos to react to or like just YouTube videos to entertain yourself? That is dangerous. That's really not good for your health, your eyes, your brain, your ears, your heart. Maybe. Common problems in the world right now. But as harmless as it seems, it's actually far more dangerous than you think. And while this mostly comes from people who are driving when they're sleepy, which amounts to over 4,000 deaths every year, if you guys don't drive, then don't think you're instantly safe. Because not sleeping can cause other health problems and make some people Told have you. heart attacks, heart. strokes, and other bodily issues. The government actually recommends that you get 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night. Yeah, as if that's gonna happen anytime soon. But next up, we have kissing your dog. So if you're a dog lover, the chance- Please don't do that. I know I, you guys love your dogs. And loving a dog is not a bad idea. But kissing your dog, that's a disgusting and a bad idea. For your health, and you might get germs, you might get sick, you might get diseases that you don't want to get that will hurt you all your life. So be careful. You kiss your dog. However- Love is love, but- Take care of yourself and look for yourself first before looking after your dog and what the things that they like it. Kissing your dog is disgusting. A lot of other people think it's really gross when people kiss their dogs. But no matter what your viewpoint on kissing your dog in terms of grossness is, it can be incredibly dangerous for you and you might need to stop kissing your dog. And the reason why it's dangerous is surprising. While most people would assume it's to do with the dog's saliva, it's actually because of the dog's nose, which is bound to touch you when you kiss your dog. Because a dog's nose spends a lot of time on the floor when they smell their way around new areas, this means that bacteria, viruses, and germs can be all over a dog's nose. So that dead mouse in your backyard that pee stain in the subway station, and even your dog's own feces can be all over their nose. And if that's not a good enough reason to stop kissing your dog, I don't know what is. But next up, we have electric blankets. So when it's a cold night, there's nothing better than getting into your- Really? Electric blankets. Interesting. Mm. Let's see what's about. Your electric blanket to warm up before you go to sleep. That is if you go to sleep at all and don't die the next morning from driving while sleepy. But anyway, although electric blankets are a cool invention, they're also a deadly one. They've caused hundreds or thousands of house fires, destroying people's lives and sometimes even ending them. And many people get heat stroke in their sleep while using these. And if that wasn't enough, recent studies show that because of the electric and magnetic fields that these transmit, they can contribute to cancer such as uterus cancer and... Uterus cancer? Blaster. Breast cancer. 
but next up we have shoveling snow. So this seems like a fairly common chore that people have to do when it snows, but every year more than 12,000 people end up in hospital after shoveling snow and over 2,000 deaths occur from it every year. But why is this? Well, it's mostly from heart attacks and it affects areas where it doesn't snow very much the worst. And that's because people aren't used to having to shovel snow. So when they have to do it, they think they can manage more than they actually can. And then they shovel way too much and have heart attacks that can kill them. And some people can damage their bones and their backs too. So there you go guys, next time you want to get rid of snow, use an electric blanket, not a shovel. But next up we have beach burying. So you might be laughing at the title of this one, but people die every year from choking to death on sand. The reason why? Kids. We all know the popular game that kids play at the beach where they cover each other in sand. But sometimes these kids are left, forgotten, can't be dug out, or if the tide comes in, they drown because of being dug into a hole that they can't get out of. This can also happen if kids are burying each other in the sand and they bury their whole friend's body including their head. And then they have nowhere to breathe. And although this happens less than some of the other ones on this list, two deaths every month the course from it. It's definitely something you should consider not doing anymore, unless you guys really like the taste of sand. <laughs> but next up we have high heels. So high heels are one of women's favorite fashion items. Yeah, I, I see women wearing high heels every day in my high school. It's too much. You don't have to wear it every single day, but people like to wear it like that. And it's annoying. Sometimes it's annoying. They hear the sound of the high heels on the floors. It's just too much. Let's go. And they're probably one of the most iconic styles of shoes ever. However, they're also one of the most unstable shoes ever. Hundreds mm. of thousands of people every year go to the hospital because of tripping in high heels. And one very sad but ironic story in 2012 happened where the author of the novel Stilouette and V Made in Barcelona Bibet called Gunes Sein Kalyonku got her high heels stuck in an elevator on her way to a book signing, killing her. Why was this ironic? Her whole book was about a woman who wears a lot of high heels. But remember, this didn't just happen to her, it happens to thousands thousands of people every year. But next up we have drinking water. So this one might sound a bit dumb, but thousands of people every year die from drinking water. And this isn't because of germs or dirt in water, it's either people drinking water too fast or too much of it. And the main place where people die from drinking water is at marathons. Did you know that no one has ever died from dehydration at a marathon, but thousands have died from over drinking? And if that isn't enough to shock you, in 2007 a woman from California died after taking part in a water drinking competition held by a radio station. So guys, drink water. Just not Dang. too much and not too fast. Next up we have hot tubs. So hot tubs are supposed to be the epitome of relaxation. Well, sorry to ruin hot tubs as well as everything else on this list for you guys, but they can be pretty bad for you. And before you jump to any conclusions, no, people aren't being made into human soup because of the heat from hot tub water. The reason hot tubs are actually dangerous is because of the chemical poisoning that causes thousands of people to go to the hospital every year. Basically, hot tubs have bromine dispensers in them to keep the tub clean of algae. And if it's inhaled or it contacts your skin directly, it can cause direct tissue injury. Injury. So your hot tub is basically poisoning you. And last on this list is your own doctor. So this one is very shocking and ironic. Doctors are known for their bad handwriting, and it's so well known that doctors have bad handwriting that it's become a joke. But these mistakes in writing and misreading of writing can lead to serious implications. In fact, almost 9,000 Americans die every year because of unclear doctor prescriptions of potentially dangerous medications, which can lead to health problems if- I don't take medications, I just- when I get a cold and I get sick, I just stay home or go to school, but this takes its time. Having a cold, it takes its time and then it will go away. You don't need medications to stop a cold, but if it's something serious, like say your whole arm is like hurting you or your muscles are not moving and it feels like frozen, feeling numb. You might have to visit a doctor, but not like something for a cold. You don't have to visit your doctor for a cold that you just had and you get sick. It's alright. Just drink something warm. Don't take medications. Don't play. Sleep early. Wake up early. Take the healthy routine. And you will get to it. But don't take medications. Because medications might have side effects that will hurt you later in the future. If a patient is allergic to certain drugs and also causes drug overdoses. And this is one of the most deadliest things on this list, so next time your doctor writes you a prescription, make sure you double check what they wrote. And if you are a doctor, then I suggest you buy a keyboard and a printer. But that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner.
if you guys like this video subscribe comment and share and I hope you guys have a good day this is Saturday I'm waiting for Manchester United to play whole city and at whilst on Wednesday next week I'll be doing some three reactions today some three reactions tomorrow bye bye